Greetings, fellow hunters and thrill seekers. I am your host, Bryce, and I welcome you to this exciting video where I will be telling you about the 10 most dangerous beasts of the Blood Hunters world. For those of you who don't know, the Blood Hunters world is filled with hunters who are the bravest warriors that hunt down evil and protect humanity. For a fee, of course. From the darkness and the forces that lurk behind them. These hunters have faced countless challenges and dangerous foes. And today, we're going to be looking at the 10 most lethal, and those that have proven to be incredibly deadly. So sit back, grab some popcorn, and get ready for this video where we're going to be talking about the 10 most lethal monsters in the Blood Hunters world. Now, side note, I'm only going to be talking about monsters that I've done like little lore bits on, so I really hope you guys do enjoy this video, and I hope you guys continue to have an awesome rest of the day. You're gonna want to stick around to see who number one is, so stick around for the whole video. At number 10, we have the fairy. Now the fairies are very interesting creatures in the Blood Hunters world. They're not necessarily the most lethal monsters, but they're up there. Now, why would I put these guys above, let's say, a goblin or whatever? Well, because the fairies only have enough strength to drown children. Yes, that is their lore, they drown children because they can. Now, it's not really stated as to why these monsters do what they do. Some say that they just have a sick fetish for this kind of stuff. Others say that this is kind of just, you know, part of their reality. But in all actuality, the reason they do it is because children play with fireflies and accidentally kill them sometimes, and the fairies have decided to take out their vengeance on the kids by killing as many as they can. Now, the likely odds of you being a hunter and running into a fairy and dying are incredibly low. You will definitely survive the foe as it pertains to you and as you continue to prove that you are capable of killing any monster that comes your way. But the fairies are not necessarily the strongest of creatures and thus, they are at the bottom of the list. Number 9. The Plague Doctors. These guys are a very special bunch. These guys have the tendency to create plagues out of basically anything, or they can amplify a plague to extreme heights. Now, why am I putting these guys so low on the list if they can create plagues powerful enough to kill, well, really anyone? Well, there's a very good reason for that. It's because uh, if you face them hand-to-hand -hand combat, they are very weak. They don't have any skills besides, you know, crafting plagues, and they are incredibly easy to kill. So if you run into these things and you are a hunter, nine times out of ten, you will come out on top. But they do pose somewhat of a threat in the right circumstances, and if they hit you with one of their plagues, then you will definitely die, because these guys have crafted plagues. And these guys have, you know become very deadly beast. Like, in the right circumstances, they could be considered some of the most dangerous, but in actuality, that's not really necessarily something that we're going to be talking about. We're talking about, like, hand-to-hand -hand physical combat, who is the most lethal. And right now, Plague Doctors, eh, not so much. They're not going to do you any very quickly at all. At number eight, we have the Goblin. Now, do I need to explain why goblins are so easily killed and why they are not necessarily lethal, but they are still, you know, dangerous if you're a normal foe. If you're a hunter, nine times out of ten, you will kill them, but if they get into a group, you are probably going to die. These creatures are not necessarily uh, strong individually, they are more strong with only themselves and their buddies. They are strong incredibly well with groups. They coordinate attacks, ambushes, and a lot of hunters like the tendency to, you know, not give them the credit they so desperately deserve. So whenever they kill, you know, a hunter, it is seen as like, you know, a great dishonor rather than, you know, this uh, hunter was just simply not powerful enough in order to justify really ever keeping them around. It's seen as dishonorable because you just got killed by a goblin, and honestly, you uh, really shouldn't have gotten killed by a goblin. I'm just saying that out loud right now. But lethality-wise, individually, they are not capable of killing you very effectively, but they could get the drop on you, and that could be proving to be fatal. But nine times out of ten, again, you're probably just going to be able to beat these guys relatively quickly. At number seven, we have the Imps. 
Now these guys, oh, these guys are terrifying. The imps are incredibly resilient. These guys will put up one good fight. But again, you will probably come out on top because they're not necessarily the strongest creatures. They're more about deception and deceiving and just going, <laughs> we're going to go kill someone and have a good time doing it. So yes, you are able to kill them rather quickly, but you also have to be on your guard because these guys can get the drop on you really effectively and they do have surprisingly good strength compared to their own well. They have surprisingly good strength compared to their own, you know, bodies and they don't look like they're resilient, but they do. They have the strength to boot and they will kill you if given a chance. Number six. At number six, we have the Warlocks. Now, Warlocks are incredibly dangerous, and these guys can put up one good, decent fight. And nine times out of ten, you could easily be killed. And I know I say a lot of... I say nine times out of ten an awful lot, but that's just to help, you know, simplify the fact that, you know, more likely you will die to these guys. It is possible to kill them. It's not going to be necessarily, like, the most easy battle, but it is possible to kill these guys if you get the drop on them. But if you have an open fight, you will take quite a bit of damage, and it is quite difficult for you to kill them. But it is possible. They rely very heavily on magic, but that doesn't mean that they aren't physically capable. They can enhance their abilities with magic so that they are incredibly resilient, and they can enhance their speed. So if these guys corner you, you're dead. So number six is where they be. At number five, we have the Windigo. These guys are deadly, and I do mean quite deadly. Part of the reason why these guys are so deadly is simply because they are referred to as the perfect hunters in Native American mythology, but in the Blood Hunters world, they are just incredibly resilient killers. These guys cannot be killed easily by really any means necessary. They just are incredibly strong, and they don't necessarily die easily. The only way to kill these guys is through fire. But physically, if you are facing a Windigo and you do not have a flame weapon, you will die. There's just no doubt about it. You will die. Now, if, and say if, you do have a flame weapon, you could probably scare them off and, you know, corner them and be able to kill them. I feel like 5 is a good place to put them because it's simply just the fact that, like, you know, it's a 50-50 chance you have something that's strong enough to kill them or you don't and you die so i feel like number five is where i'd put them the most because well it's number five and it's middle of the pack but that's still really good and it doesn't really you know matter i mean this is just a fun video and it these guys pale in comparison to the number one spot so again stick around at number four we have the undead the undead are a very difficult bunch to rank because on the one hand, they're not strong. They're incredibly weak, and one simple blow to the head will kill them. And now I bet you're wondering, why did I rank them so high? Well, it's not so much the fact that these guys are weak individually, but if the more of them are around, they have the tendency to mutate into the more dangerous variants. Like you have just a simple walking corpse, and these guys can mutate together to create a faster creature, or a stronger creature, or something. So these guys are difficult to rank, I felt like giving them anything less than 4 would not really be doing them justice, but I feel like this placement is very nice, it's very generous, and these guys are still incredibly resilient, these guys do not die easily, so number 4 seems like an average spot to, you know, put them. At number 3, we have the Basculus. Now the Basculus are incredibly deadly creatures, you run into this thing and you're gonna die no matter what. Like it's so unlikely that you will survive an encounter with this creature because that's just how deadly they are. These guys do not die easily, they take a lot of firepower, and one look at them, you will die pretty much instantaneously. It's kind of like one of those things where you're just like, alright, I have successfully killed, you know, a basculus, I should be now be praised. If you successfully do kill a basculus, you deserve a freaking award. It's kind of one of those things where you're like, Oh, okay, this is really good. I just, you know, successfully killed a basculus. But also, why did I face a basculus? Because it's absolute insanity. But number three feels like a good spot, but again, it pales in comparison to number one. So, go ahead and stick around for the rest of it. At number two, we have the Leviathan. 
or more accurately, Leviathan class monsters. Now, the Leviathan class monsters are large sea creatures that live in the ocean. And a Leviathan, like an actual genuine Leviathan, where the namesake comes from, is so freaking big that it's able to reach the bottom of the ocean and still remain standing at the deepest point. You could see this creature stand and it's half its body would be above the water. Now these creatures are incredibly rare to find because if you find them, nine times out of ten, you're dead. Like, these creatures will kill you pretty much instantaneously. And it, these creatures do not really, you know, like to show themselves. And uh, if you do end up finding a Leviathan, it is possible to bribe them into protecting you while you traverse something called the Sea of Monsters. Now, again, this is incredibly dangerous and no one should really try to attempt to befriend a Leviathan, but it is possible. So number two seems like it's supposed to be good. It's a good place that it'll be and I'm happy with this place. At number one, we have the Hydra. Now the Hydras are incredibly deadly creatures. These guys do not die at all. They are incredibly tough to kill. Like if a hunter, an average hunter runs into a Hydra, you're dead. You're just dead. There is no real recovering this creature just will kill you insanely quickly and you will die because this creature a has a bunch of heads b is incredibly fast and c has the ability to breathe pretty much acid its breath is lethal so if you stand in its breath you will die like again i don't think i need to explain very much because again all i will say is this creature will kill you and you're dead and this creature is incredibly intelligent. So even if you do end up sneaking up on it, nine times out of ten, it will find you and kill you. So again, number one is where the Hydra will remain for a long time. And I bet a lot of you are probably wondering, Bryce, you did videos on Krampus. You guys did videos on, you know, the Boogeyman. These guys cannot be killed by the Hunter's Order, while the Hydra can. And yes, that is true. I ultimately decided that, you know, I'm going to stick to monsters that, you know, can be killed by hunters. It's unlikely that they'll be killed by hunters, but it is possible to kill them. Anyway, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. I hope you guys stuck around. And if you guys really did enjoy this content, hit the subscribe button and let me know what monsters you want me to make shorts on and bring into the Blood Hunters world. I will try and post as much as I can, and I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. See ya!